good things in your life this evening. Yeah. Lift up your voice one more time and give glory to this good God who has never failed. Oh Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your awesome name, you that have never failed before. We thank you, I am that I am. We thank you, Jehovah Rapha. We give you all the praise for all the blessings you are set to release in our life this month. We thank you, mighty God, for open doors, for diverse turnaround, amazing change of story. We give you all the praise for wiping away tears from our faces. We say thank you for divine laughter. We give you praise, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. We give you all the praise, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, King of Kings. We are grateful to you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Please, before we pray, there was someone that was supposed to see me this afternoon while I was going out. Please, if you are here, are you the person? You are the person? Okay, please go out there. Uh, they want to see you now. God bless you, eh? God bless you. Praise God. We are going to pray. Scripture says, no weapon, form, no fashion against me shall prosper. We are going to be releasing the blood weapon into the camp of the Fulani men. And every of their sponsor, let God expose them and destroy them. We are going to pray, let the, en the killer angels from on high invade their camp. The havoc they have been sent to rot against Nasarawa states. Let the vengeance of God begin to cut them down one by one. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release the killer angels, the massacre angels. The same one, the same kind that was released against Egypt. Lord, let them invade the camp of the Fulani headsmen. Wherever they are lodged, whoever is lodging and keeping them, Lord, let the angels of death invade their camp. Let the slayer angels invade their camp. In the name of Jesus Christ, every havoc they have been sent to do against this nation, against this state, we decree by the vengeance of the Lord, let there be a divine slaughter in their camp. Let the angels of God slay them. One after the other, let the angels of God slay them. Whoever is their sponsor, whoever is their sponsor, whoever is camping them secretly, oh God, expose them and destroy them. Let divine plague come upon their sponsor. Let divine plague come upon their sponsor. Lord, plague them with incurable affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ. We release the arrows of the blood, the vengeance of the blood against the camp of the Fulani headsmen. Whoever is their sponsor, oh God, we invoke your vengeance upon them tonight. We command the angels of God, the killer angels that invaded Egypt to invade their camp, slay them one after the other in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Any arrow designed against you, let them backfire. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Whatever has been programmed against your life in this year of new dawn, let the God of Oyeriko disappoint their cancer. If you are saying amen, make that amen better. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. It's my new dawn era. Congratulations. Please take your seat. God bless you. I've learned one secret from my mentors. You don't wait for your enemy to shoot you arrow before you shoot back. Every day be releasing your own. Anyone that are pre-planned for me, let the vengeance of God locate their head. Just be shooting your own. Don't wait. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? No weapon. There's one of my friends. I, I used to visit and sleep in their house. Immediately they finish devotion. The, the next thing that will come out from everybody's mouth. 
no weapon formed or fashion against me shall prosper. Any tongue that rises against me in judgment, they are condemned. Every day, every day, every day they are releasing it. And you know what's carry power? The moment you release it, you have released it. And that's how anyone that is planning for you, God will be cutting them down in the name of Jesus. Anyone seeking your downfall, they will fall for you. You, you are not saying amen as if you are a believer. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Which fan is disturbing me like this? Don't leave it, leave it. The place is even too hot. Very soon we'll have a condition inside here. You are not saying amen. amen. Okay, you will see it. When you see it, then you will know that I'm serious. Very soon we'll have air con Before we go to that main side, we'll use air condition here. Amen. Praise God. The wonders of right association. Destiny is in qualities. Everybody here has a glorious destiny. But one thing that will affect the gloriousness of your destiny is your association. The more you find yourself in a quality company, the more your destiny emerge. The more your destiny shine brighter. I want you to hear this. If you like gree, if you like no gree, the more you company with wrong people, the more your destiny go down. God has given you a glorious destiny, but he will not choose your company for you. He will choose your company. God has given you a glorious future, but he will not force anybody on you. You choose. He that walks with the wise shall be wise. A companion of fools shall be destroyed. So if you company with fools, you are signing for destruction. Whatever you become in life is tied to the people you surround yourself with. Whatever you become in life. So nobody determines what you become in life. You determine it. And part of your determining it is who you surround yourself with. Hear me and hear me well. It is impossible to live a life that is not affected by other people. It is impossible. To live a life that is not affected by other people. So you must be conscious and careful who affects you. Because who affects you either influences you or afflicts you. Who affects you either influences you positively or afflicts you negatively. Many are in bondage today. Maybe they are in pains today because of useless friends. They are not useless by destiny, but by you, they are useless by character. The question you should ask yourself at the end of this message, are your friends really your friends? Papa said, there is no way you partner with dogs that you will not be doing. Woo, 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 woo. 
<laughs> if you partner with dogs, you must bark. Three of us. If you partner with pigs, you will you enter gutter. So your real identity in destiny is defined by your friends. Your real identity is defined by your friends. Nothing can create a setback in a man's life or in a woman's life like wrong friends. Partnering with enemies and calling them friends. Hear me and hear me where? Whether you like it or not, you cannot bless whom God has cost. A bad friend is a cost person. You either leave him alone or the costs are transferred to you. There are people you must not, say with me, I must not, associate with. There are people you must not associate with. It's not because you hate them. It's because you have value for your destiny. You have value for your life. Associating with them can hinder you from fulfilling God's plan and purpose. It can blind you from reaching where God has in mind for you. It can blind you. There are people you call friends now that cannot help you to climb up. But rather they will help you to crawl. So calling them friends is like um, you don't even know what you are looking for. There are people you call friends now. The glorious dreams that you once had, you have lost everything. There are friends now that cannot help your, your dreams or your vision to emerge. That's why you must make up your mind this year, the year is still very fresh, to insulate yourself against negative people. When you are in the midst of good company, your journey will be good in life. Are you wrong saying now? Company with bad friends kills potentials faster. They kill potentials. They dry up your mental energy. How much more your spiritual passion. They dry up your mental energy. Bad friends. How many of us know the story of uh, Ammon, the son of David? He had a bad friend. And you know, as the son of David, he should be treated like a prince. But because he had a bad friend, who taught him evil. He disfigured his life and disfigured his destiny. The story there is in 2 Samuel chapter 13. Ammon had a very terrible friend who showed him how to do abominable things. Who are your friends? I've discovered that even in ministry, only people that have good friends, they are the ones making progress. Yes! I've seen it. Last year, I went to see a bishop. So one of my friends flew from Lagos. He wanted to, he was to follow me back to Joss. So I said, okay, I'm going to see bishop. You better fly down and meet me so that you have opportunity 
of impartation. Now, I finished from Bishop's office. I came out. So I now met him. In, he just called me that he's around. I said, I climb up. He now climbed up. And I went back and met Bishop and said that, hey, my friend is here. We've been friends for the past 11 years. He looked at me in the eye. Bishop looked at He said, look at me in my eye. Tell me through, through. Is he a good person? Is he a good person? A pastor? Is he a pastor? He's not a brother. I say, sir, he's a good person. Is that you sure? Because if I notice anything wrong, I cut you off. I say, he's a good person, sir. I can attest to this person. So he said, bring him. And I brought him. He will first of all smile. Later, now prayed for him and blessed him. Shall I tell you something? I'm not begging or looking for anybody to be my friend. Where I'm going is very, very far. For me to go and hang around someone that will puncture the race. The problem is that you don't even value where you are going. That's why anybody can enter you. If you value where you are going, you screen everybody. Every one of us here will belong somewhere. Do you agree with me? But few belong to the right place. And when God guides you, he makes sure also that he also guides you from company from wrong people. Because the company you keep or the friends you have, they play a role in either helping you to actualize destiny or they help you to destroy destiny. They help you to actualize destiny or they help you to destroy destiny. So if you keep company with people that are not going anywhere, your life will never have any positive direction. Your life will not have any positive influence and you will end up not achieving anything glorious. So the circle of people that you operate with determines the outcome of your future. Determine the outcome of your future. One of the things Pastor Jeremy told me on that 29th, he said, the way you are going now, there are some pastors you need to cut off from. I said, yes, sir. I said, do you, do you agree with me? I said, yes, sir. You need to cut off now. Not everybody is happy that you are making progress. Not everybody is happy that uh, you are doing well. Cut off. I said, yes, sir. There are people you keep around you and your mentality is improved. There are people you keep around you and the only, the only thing you'll be doing is to be thinking evil. Imagining evil. Perceiving evil. Behaving evil. Why? They have influenced your mentality so you end up behaving like them. Pastor Biomi said, that 50% of your behavior is from your friends. 50% of your behavior is from your friends. So it's easy for them to look at you and tell you where, where you copied it from. 50% of your behavior, you collected it from your friends. As iron sharpened iron, so does a man sharpen the countenance of his friend. Who is sharpening you? Is the person sharpening you for good or sharpening you for evil? You cannot amount to anything good if the person sharpening you is not amounting to anything good. Because whatever is becoming is what you will end up becoming.
One quality of the wise men is that they, they identify the wise and successful people and they follow. Why? They want to copy them in everything so that they will replicate, reproduce the same result that they are getting. When right people enter your life, right things begin to happen. When right people enter your life, right things begin to do what? Likewise, when wrong people live your life, wrong things stop happening. When wrong people live your life, wrong things stop what? Happening. When you company with wrong people, your speed in life is reduced. Your speed of pursuit, your passion for progress is reduced. We read from scripture yesterday, Second Chronicles 20 and verse 35, how Jehoshaphat, the same Jehoshaphat that God intervened for, you shall not need to fight in this battle for I, the Lord will fight for you. The same Jehoshaphat, God now raised someone to prophesy against him. Why? He was company with Ahazia. And God said, you are not going anywhere with Ahazia. We break that journey. The reason why some people are not making progress, there is no winch doing you. Maybe the person around you is a wrong influence. And God said that the only way I can make sure I stop you is to abort this relationship. Failure also occurs when you company with wrong people. When you company with idle people, obviously you become idle. When you company with doubters, very soon your faith begins to fade. Am I correct? Hey. When you company with doubters, all of a sudden, you don't only doubt, negative thinking takes over you, your faith begins to dwindle. Instead of thinking possibility thoughts, you begin to give up on God, and all manner of evil begin to go through your mind. Matthew Shumolewo said, if you walk with chickens, you can't fly. Two of us. Will you fly? If you walk with goats or sheep, you lose authority. John Massey said, if you walk with five lions, you will become the sixth lion. So people you walk with, you end up becoming like them. You end up becoming like them. So the company you keep determine your influence spiritually. They determine your spiritual authority. They determine everything about you. That's why you must be conscious about your life, about the plan and purpose of God, because destiny is in qualities. And your friendship determines the quality of your destiny. You, hear me? you can't escape it. This is one thing you cannot escape from. So if you must fulfill God's plan and purpose for your life, Check who is speaking into your life. Who is influencing you? There is one thing I cannot do for you. Is to check where you go. Who speaks to you? I can't do that. It's your choice. It's your choice.
You may think nothing is happening. Let that person keep influencing you. For a period of six months, you will just be the sea god. You will just, dis you will just discover that mentally your brain has been re repositioned, reshaped, rebranded. And you know, this thing is an unconscious thing. Before you know what's happening, you begin to talk like them, behave like them, act like them. You don't need to be in the dream and see that uh, something has gone wrong. Something has already gone wrong. Why? You are not conscious of your life and your destiny. When you are conscious of your life and your destiny, you must also be conscious of who speaks to you. Because who you give heed to, obviously you must behave like the person. Consciously you will act like the person. Before you know what's happening, destiny is taking a new turn in the negative direction. Do you know that in the same church, you will meet people that will encourage you? Am I saying the truth? In the same church, you will meet people that will discourage you. In the same church, you will meet people that will turn into a gossiper. In the same church, you will meet people that will turn into a backbiter. In the same church, you will meet people that will help you to speak against pastor. In the same church, you will meet people that will turn you into an enemy of the brethren. In the same church. In the same church. Judas was picked among the twelve. And I want to let you know, Jesus was in the spirit when he picked Judas. Am I saying the truth? But Judas was always company with the Pharisees. He was always company with the Pharisees. So what happened to Judas? He was always company with the Pharisees. And they helped him to crash his destiny. He died a shameful death. Thomas was also picked by the Spirit of God. Jesus was in the Spirit when he picked Thomas. But he was in the company of people that didn't believe the miracle that Jesus was doing. All of a sudden, he started behaving like an unbeliever in the midst of the apostles. In Acts, scripture said, and they took note of them that they had been with Jesus. They took note of them. Where do you want to reach in life? Where do you want to arrive in destiny? It will be defined by your friends. It will be defined by your association. So hear me, if new dawn will be a reality, there are people that will help you arrive at your new dawn. Am I saying the truth? If new dawn will also be a reality, there are people that will help you never to arrive at your new dawn. It is left for you to decide. Take a look at the people around you. Take a look at the people that speaks to you. What are they contributing to you? Take a look at the books you read, at the text messages you get, at the WhatsApp that flows to you. No relationship, whether distance or close by, leaves you neutral. No relationship leaves you neutral. Is it that moving you positive or is taking you negative? Only you can control that. Me, I can't control it. I can only control the one for me, my wife, for my children. I can't control the one for pastor. I can't control for you. I can't control for you. I can't control for you. I can't do that. Because I don't know who speaks to you when I'm not there. I'm not in your office. 
I don't follow you to your house. How do I know who WhatsApp you? That's the truth. How do I know who call you? Because who you listen to daily forms part of your influence in life. And they are either influencing you for good or influencing you for bad. I don't have control over that. And that's how destiny is pushed. Destiny is driven by thoughts. And thoughts are channeled by men. I've said it before. The BOM won me in 2015. The day you join the company of people that speak against Oyedeko, your oil will dry. I saw him to a, this last Monday. He said, when are you coming? I said, I will soon come, sir. Your oil will dry. Dr. Paul Leninche said, there are people you must miss if you must not miss God. There are people you are going to avoid. I'm going to mention them and very soon we rise up to pray. Pretenders. Gossipers. Abusers. You must avoid them. Manipulators. Proud people. Attention seekers. Chameleon behaviors. Bless you, sir. It's not from the heart, man. Some people that greet you, bless you, they are the ones for me meeting to fight you. Bless you is not a confusion. Somebody can be telling you, bless you, but I, uh, it was in the meeting where they were discussing and planning you. Bless you. Exploiters, betrayers, accusers, envious people, disloyal people, liars, Spoilers. Backbiters. <laughs> According to Apostle Paul, he said, from such, turn away from. From such, do what? Any person teaching you bad, how you will do bad, how you will do your brother bad, is not your friend. He's a winch. Quote me, I said so. It's a witch. Any person that will teach you how to fight a brother, wound a sister, fight your pastor, is a witch. Because it's opening the door of attack for you. I told the pastor some months back, I said, never you have anything to do with me again. I thought you were close to me. You are never. I say my own raw. The people that I'm following, I'm not following them with bad hearts. I'm following them with good heart, so that their grace will rub off of me. You can't claim to be following me and you are a witchcraft around me. You are asked to source information on how my enemy will attack me. I say, God forbid, please leave before I curse you. I'm not following Oyedepo with craftiness. I'm not following Abiyo with a corny heart. I'm not following Pastor Jemel with a crafty sense. I'm following them. I can tell them anything in my house. And they can cancel me and say, my son, stay here. Most of the decisions I take, I consult them. So whether you like it or you don't like it, it's not important. Don't call somebody your friend and you are sitting down to discuss him. You are a devil. That's why there are people you must run away from. No wonder your life is not going straight. You can't be camping around wrong people and expect God to show you help. Wrong. He said the king, the dead king Uzziah died. Isaiah saw the Lord. There are some friendship that must die. Oh, I just remember the story of a woman. Her own friend 
was trying to color be the husband and collect the thing. The same woman followed her to go and see Apostle Suleiman. Apostle Suleiman and said, the person that uh, you are talking about is the person that followed you here. And she was sitting in the reception. He said, go and invite her. Go and bring her now. Let's open her phone and we'll see the text message your husband sent to her. Funny enough, <laughs> he said, I'm going to call the number now. She came in. Apostle Suleiman and rang the number. The thing ring. Any unfriendly friend around your life, my prayer for you this night, let God expose them. Right? You are just saying amen. I don't, I'm not sure whether you will do it. If your life will fare well in life, if your life, your life, your life, you know your life is your own, it's not my own. If your life will fare well in life, there are people you must cut off from. Cut off. I know people that we are speaking against here. He has forgiven them all, but he has cut off from you. Needs. He doesn't have any problem with that. We are not going the same place. Which are the kind of friends you need? You need excellent friends. People that think excellence. How do you know them? Anytime they talk, you are motivated. You are inspired. You are challenged. Excellent friends don't discuss people. They talk ideas. They share dreams. They share inspirations. Average people discuss people. The only thing that comes out from their mouth is envy. Excellent friends. People that are thinking of goals that will be conquered. Heights that will be attained. Who are the people around you? If you must see the new dawn that God has talked about this year, you need excellent friends. The ones that don't take no for an answer. The ones that think possibility, no matter the difficulty. The ones that can tell you there is a way out for you. Not the ones that will tell you, my brother, now so we see him. Ah, I think say now let me. Yeah, the thing don't reach you too. Let's be hopeful. One day be one day, God will do something. Those are not the kind of friends you need. They console you in hopelessness. Excellent friends tells you there is a way out. Excellent friends tell you you will not remain in the same spot. A breakthrough is about to take place. In fact, the reason why this thing came is because God wants to do something new in your life. Excellent friends. If your friends are not helping you to think excellence, drop them. They didn't tie you rope or tie your umbilical cord with them. Another kind of friends you must be desiring that God should bring your way. Word friends. People that open your eyes to light. Scripture says, for in thy light we see light. For in thy light we do what? See light. There are people you must meet that must help lighten you up. Not quench the small fire that you once had. No, there are people Satan send around you to quench the small fire that you get. The next kind of friends you should be desiring that God should bring your way is destiny friends. People who are destined for greatness. Who helps to steer up the greatness in you into action. Let me say this. It just came to my heart now. 
When some people disappoint you, thank God. Oh. Do you know why? When some people disappoint you, misbehave around you, thank God. Do you know why you should thank God? My father told me something and I want to tell you now. I used to have a friend in my second year. We did a little business together. I gave him ties to sell them. He sold the ties. He ate the money. The money wasn't that big. 5,400. That's in 1992. I was angry. But my father told me something. He said, ah, thank God that God has delivered you. That if he has eaten 5,400, who knows what he will have eaten in the future? Maybe you people will fight or go to police or break somebody's head. Allow him that he should eat this one but cut off from him forever. I didn't understand what he was saying. It was still paining me. He called me later and said, I hope you understood what I'm telling you. He said, allow him to go. He has eaten. Let that one be what will separate you forever. And that's how I left him. Carry your wahala go. And he said another thing. Make sure money does not bring problem between you and somebody. At most, leave the thing for the person. That's how I left him. I left him and left him forever. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? He will never have mouth any day to come and ask me, can we do business together? I say, ah, no. The bridge has been burnt, so they part. There's no connection again. It's as simple as that. So there's no need, uh, I will set trap for him. No, there's no trap. The trap they already catch. Are you getting it now? That road has been burnt. You can't join in that road again. Likewise also, when some people disappoint you, they didn't break your heart oh, because they don't have hammer. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? If some people disappoint you, thank God. Tell your neighbor, thank God. The reason why you should thank God is because if this one didn't happen now, who knows what will have happened in the future? That's why you should be thanking God. God used this one to bring you out. And yet you are still saying, Pastor, you don't understand. If you know how he wounded me, tell your neighbor, thank God again. Some sisters are even binding me as I'm even talking. We have agreed to marry. Should I tell you something? If you have gone ahead, you, have been, you will have been living in what we call earth fire before you will go to hell fire. You will test earth fire here before you go to what we call the real hell fire. You have a foretaste of what hell fire is by that marriage. God say, my son, I bring you out. My daughter, I bring you out. I delivered you. Let me give you one example. One of our elders, I won't call his name. The daughter was doing a, I love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. He has seen someone that has money. He ended up marrying the man. At, at first they were telling him, don't go, let's make inquiry, let's do this. She still insisted, she went. After they married, that same week, say with me, that same week, they were sleeping together on the same bed. The man quietly arose and entered chambers. You know where they call chambers? So she too did not shout. She quietly woke up, went to the parlor, didn't see the man. Went to the reading room, didn't see the man. And now saw there was light in one other small place filled with all colored candles where the man was nodding head, doing some invocation. 
with nightgown. She quietly came out, opened the door, asked the security man to keep quiet that she's coming. From there, ran for her life. She never came back again. You are laughing. You are laughing. She never came back again. She first of all told the parents and told them that they should tell, they, tell him that they don't know where, that they are not aware of what he's talking about. That was how she disappeared. If it were to be something, I don't agree, I must marry her. I must marry her, I must marry her. This is not my chance, not my chance. Because I said, you enter one chance. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> she ran away. I'm sure they must have told her, wait, let's find out. He said, no. The way they think they do me now. <laughs> now that's the way they do and don't cool down. They don't cool down by force. <laughs> Praise God. May God deliver you from evil people. Yeah. If you like, say amen. Or if you like, say amen. May God deliver you from evil people. And the next set of friends you should be praying for is for dream makers. Say with me, dream makers. Not dream quenchers. There are dream quenchers, there are dream makers. There are people you will meet instead of thinking small, you begin to dream big. In fact, they provoke your dream nature. Everybody you see here has the capacity for greatness. But your capacity for greatness is ignited by the quality of friends that come your way. You don't just suddenly begin to dream big. There must be someone that will come your way that will ignite the dreams, the great things that God has pre-planned for you. You must pray for them. I quote, Dr. Paul Lenenche said, we can dream big because we have seen you dear great things. Talking about Papa. We can dream big because we have seen you dear great things. So if we see the step you take, it determines the next step we should also take. You can't follow a dreamer and be behaving like a, like a dwarf. The kind of people you follow, they give you a picture of what your life will look like. Those are the kind of people you should be looking forward to meet. Not to be hanging around people that are not going anywhere. People that are making your life to go like this. But like I said before, nobody can force you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I learned something from Papa of recent. There are some people you can't correct to. I tell you the truth, even in this church. There are some people you can never correct. So you allow them, let them meet what they are looking for. Their head will be correct. Yes. You can't call them one on one. This thing you are doing is not bad. It will affect you. Hey, no. They know more than you. And Reverend Simon Afolabi said, the worst people you can ever call to correct is people that know more than you. People who feel that you know, they know what you know. Leave them alone. When they jam rock, their head will be correct. Do you want your destiny to go well? You will define it by yourself. Nobody has power to choose any friend for you. You are the one that decides who your friend will be. If you see people in regret today, their friends made them 50% regrets. People who are in regret in life, in destiny, feeling bad, 
about their poor outcome, about their poor states, about the way things are not working well, 50% is done by the prince they allowed. Rise up to your feet. I understood something of recent. There is what we call angelic disconnection. Angels, by your permission, can disconnect you from evil people. Yes, I, have, I know that one. By your permission, no. It can only work by your permission. Because even as we are saying now, someone is saying, I no go agree. Pastor, I no agree. <laughs> it's not by force. All of us don't have the same time of arrival. Your friends determine your speed. They determine your progress. They determine your open door. They determine whether God will help you or God's hand will be against you. A good example is Jehoshaphat. God said, because you have joined yourself with Ahazia, I will break your ship. Please, let's read that scripture before we pray. Second Chronicle chapter 20 and verse 35. We'll read it together. After this, did Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, join himself. And you know, in friendship, you join yourself. With Ahaziah, king of Israel, who did what? Please underline it. The next verse. And he joined himself with him to make ship to go to Tarshish. And they made the ship in Enzion Giba. The next verse, please. Then Eleazar, the son of Dedova of Marasha, prophesied against Jehoshaphat, saying, Because thou have joined thyself with Ahaziah, the Lord has broken thy work. Which means he made sure his business was collapsed and the ships were broken, that they were not able to go to Tarshish. So some people here, it's not which that is doing you, it's God intentionally stopping you. You are going to pray. Lord, any company, any association that has made you avoid me, withdrawn your hand of help from me, Lord, deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Any wrong association that will not allow the plan and purpose of God to be fulfilled in my life, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me from any wrong company, from any wrong association, Any wrong influence that is not helping my destiny to be improved, that is not helping my destiny to go forward, that is not helping me to make progress, Lord, deliver me. Open my eyes to see the people Satan has planted around me to make my journey difficult. Lord, open my eyes to see them. Expose every unfriendly friend. 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 Any agent of the devil hanging around me as a friend, Lord, expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Any unfriendly friend that is not helping me to go forward, Lord, expose them. Any unfriendly friend that the enemy is using to attack my life, attack my destiny, attack my family, Lord, expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Expose them. Any unfriendly friend that is not contributing to my peace, to my glory, to my joy, to my advancement. Lord, expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ, expose them. Expose them. By the blood of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, expose them. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, anyone that you have ordained to make one... Make my new dawn a reality. 
angels of God move them to locate me move them to locate me my right helpers my relevant friends the people that matter to your purpose and plan for my life oh God move them to locate me move them to locate me spirit of God move them to locate me Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. As you partake of this communion, any manipulation of evil friends in and around your life, today, let them be exposed. Whatever spell they have put upon you to manipulate you and control you, today by this communion, let the spell be broken. If you are saying amen, say better amen. As you partake of this communion, Lord, I pray, the people that you have ordained to make new dawn a reality in our life, Holy Ghost, move them our way. Let there be divine connectivity. Let there be divine connection. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Any habit that is not allowing your life go forward, introduced by evil friends, as you partake of this communion, let those evil habits die in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray.